We're going to start the very first part, which was, was it Muzen? Like, and yeah. I'm talking to Pretty much. Akasa. Well, well, they recap the end of the movie for the third time okay. now. I skipped it. I skipped it. For anybody okay. that missed it. Yeah. For okay, anybody that you. didn't know oh. that Rengoku's dead. Oh, he's here's, dead, here's the third time that he's dead. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Anime Is God podcast. This is the Demon Slayer uh, Entertainment District arc uh, weekly discussion. I'm your host, David, and joining today, we have Stren. Hello. Next up, we have Ku. Yo, yo. Next up, we have Justin. Hey, guys. Welcome back. And finally, we have Taylor. Hello. Welcome back as well. All right. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So this is going to be the start of our weekly discussions for Demon Slayer. Um, you know, season two, this is the Entertainment District. It takes place right after Mugen Train. Uh, if you haven't seen the movie, uh, they're all available now as TV episodes. So go, uh, go and w- definitely have to watch that for this. We do have a discussion too of uh, Mugen Train. So if you want to see our thoughts on the movie, you can go check that out too. I have a link um, at the end of this. Yeah, so we do, we do have that. And then, we're, so it's, it's canon. You have to watch it. So yeah, get caught up with that. And now we're starting season two. Starting off, like, like again, everyone says, just kind of, kind of recapping the movie, you know, Rengoku died. So we're past that. Um, and then just this scene where like, where it just shows like, you know, Mugen just randomly decides to be a kid. He's, I guess he's in a wealthy family just to keep watch of things and just talking to Akasa about how he failed in the Mugen Train movie. So it just, it just moves out walking the streets by himself. It's like, okay, random kid. Got it. I was trying to think, when was the last time we've seen Muzin? Was that the, like, meeting was, that he had with, like, his it, upper moons and stuff? I think so, yeah. 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 So, yeah. When okay. he, was, he was, like, that lady, whatever, and then he was talking mm-hmm. to um, the dream demon guy that I can't remember his name now. Yeah. Well, yeah. then he killed a bunch of, like, the lesser demons as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, he, he, I was just trying to make sure that was the last time we met saw him, or if there was a different time, so. Nope. Yeah, he just figured he didn't need him anymore, so just... Him. Yeah, man. I mean, we saw that with uh, Akaza when he came back and he's like, so what have you done? And he's just like, oh, you know, I killed some people. I killed a Hashira. He's like, we're good now. And Muzin's just like, no, we're not fucking good. Like, you not killed enough. one person. Like, I expected you to kill, you know, like all these people. What do you mean we're like, good? He was like, <laughs> trash. Here, little shit. Yeah. <laughs> what? Fucking trash. What? He put told- him on his knees, did like, you know, <laughs> Muzin like force lock on his ass and just... <laughs> Made him suffer. Yeah, he could. He could have just told him that. You know, like uh, when he asked, you know, like what happened. He's like, you know, the sun came out, and then I had to bail. I don't think he would have found that to be an acceptable excuse. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> then have him go out into the sun. Yeah. See how that goes. Yeah. So yeah. like, I mean, yeah, mm-hmm. and then we have like, I mean, like, so like, Akasa didn't even care much about like Tanjiro before, but now we kind of have the Dude. setup where it's like it's kind of like the <laughs> foreshadowing, kind of like an epic showdown between Akasa and. And Tanjiro, like oh, the man. revenge versus Damn like coward, uh, won't fight like, in the sunlight. The, <laughs> the <laughs> ultimate bitch. It, it's working, man. It's uh, basically it's like you know Tanjiro trying to bait him. It's starting to work now. It's sticking in his head. Low key though, I was kind of expecting Muzin to just like absolutely butcher the family that he's like assimilated in. Yeah. And <laughs> the fact that they did now is kind of just like, oh man. Like I don't know why I thought that had happened in the manga, but I guess not. I didn't go back and check, but I was just like, yeah, this family's gonna die. Like yeah. they don't know what they're harboring right now. Like they're just like, oh, he's so great. He's gonna to take over the family business all right. this stuff and i'm just like all right so oh, once he's just gonna like kill them all. all right yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> so muzin muzin like the first family we saw him with he he killed them right like we're in uh when tanjiro first noticed him i don't know if he killed them he was just part know. of the family like he yeah. was yeah i'm trying okay. to the wife and then kid yeah i do remember yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, when he's strolling that, through the but... downtown yeah i wasn't sure if they maybe did something in the in the manga or if you guys knew at all what well, happened I mean, you don't want spoilers Wait, but this yes, is the first. Right? This was the first family. Like it, it's basically. I don't think we're seeing him again. I don't think there's any spoilers really, but <laughs> so... I don't even remember to be quite honest. I think, like we see, he just kind of assimilates from family to family, and just you know, when it's his time moving. to move on, he just takes on a new form and you know relocates uh-huh. to to where he needs to set up his next uh, part of his his grander scheme. We'll he's, say he's hidden. I like how they, exactly. like how the parents are like, oh yeah, like he has like some like allergic reaction to the sun or something like that. Oh yeah, he can't go it's out. A skin you know? condition <laughs> can't go yeah. out. Skin condition. Yeah, there you go. And then before I, like, mean, I didn't even like recognize it was Muzin. I was basically like, you know, when they were saying, I was like, oh damn it, damn it, and then it just ended up being him. I was like, oh okay, mm-hmm. that makes more sense. No, they just wanted to give like a five minute walking cameo to this little kid throughout the <laughs> you know district or whatever. I mean, but how did you just know though? They weren't really hinting that it was Muzin. I, I just mm-hmm. thought it was some kind of like special kid. Well, yeah, he was I, yeah. he was just a chick. So like, they're like, why would he just all of a sudden switch again? So 
Yeah. Kind of threw me yeah. off. True. True. Yep. Yeah. And then they did kind of so. like the comedic like face change too. But dude, for some reason, Taylor was, Taylor was laughing like crazy. Oh, with the I eyes and stuff. So <laughs> I thought that was somebody. Got to know he's the Ooh. big bad, all right. In case you didn't get it. Yep. Uh -huh. uh. Got to spend the you know uh, animation budget effectively. Mm. Oh God, indeed. <laughs> yeah. So that was like the little part with like we got you know intro introduction we got intro back to Muzin, and then kind of I guess the first this first half of this episode because remember it was an hour long episode so. We got the first half with like Tanjiro and and you know coming in terms of Venkoku's death, um, having to, of like first of all he just feels you know he just feels really bad of himself because he felt he wasn't strong enough to, he just felt so used because he wasn't strong enough and then he was led to Rengoku's um, residence with his father and his little brother and I should mention too like I I didn't watch the the first uh, episode of the TV part with Rengoku because that was all new stuff. Well I didn't watch it till just now. Oh, I watched okay. that. <laughs> then I watched season two, episode one. So so then so I remember specifically in that first episode, like like the grandma was, was saying how like, oh, were you the one who saved me twenty years ago? And Rengoku was like, oh no, that was my dad. So you can't so from, the, from that episode, you kinda had this like this idea of like, oh like like Rengoku's dad's like this, you know, respected hero. You know, this guy who was a Hashira back then. He probably then. was. He probably was respected at yeah. one point. Yeah, but then you go up to this episode, and he's just like, you know, just a shadow of his former self, just typical alcoholic. Hey man, so it's like, angry, damn, angry dude. at the world. Hey, when you lose your wife, <laughs> damn, dude. Yeah, he doesn't have the greatest track record, you know. So yeah. it's, it's it's understandable for sure, but obviously you you feel a lot for uh, Senjiro being you know the last kind of a uh, living relative of his now right. in the direct family line, and him still kind of taking it out on him. Right. Yeah, it feels bad. It feels bad, man. But it, uh, man, it it kind of sucks how like we can't really f we have to wait to figure out what sun breathing is like they just throw this whole new ball uh, game at you with sun that. breathing yeah mm -hmm. yeah i was gonna mention that too like that was like a big part of, like you know story lord up that like you know tanjiro like like his family his, he didn't even know anything about his family history he just thought he was just like this you know this charcoal gathering family like <laughs> and like apparently, apparently the earrings have it's supposed to be a symbol of like you know the original family of the sun the sun breathing techniques all the other techniques come from the sun breathing and can i just say earrings. like why didn't we think of it earlier like his earrings has the sun on them i guess so is that supposed I, to I thought it was decoration so i didn't yeah, think yeah, some, some, some added you swag know? you know to make the the main character distinct so yeah. definitely a good only, way to okay. you know bring it together the oh, only reason so why I, yes. I, I, <laughs> the only reason why i should thought about it is because um he no kami literally means sun god I forgot what Kagura mm. means, but yeah, because he is sun, Kami is god, so he literally means sun god. So that that should have been a clue for me, but I didn't get it. So 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 you're telling us there were so many hints hinting that it was a sun breathing family or clan, and we just didn't know because we weren't paying attention and we didn't know. Japanese. Hey man, okay. Ep that episode episode nineteen was hype. All right, I didn't have time to think. <laughs> there was a lot going was... on back then, you know, <laughs> almost two years ago now. It's been right. a bit. I just, I, know, I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I am so underwhelmed with the name of the the technique, sun breathing, that I just, I yeah. don't know really what to do with myself. Dude, fire breathing sounds way better than just sun breathing. Yeah, yeah, know. fire breathing sounds pretty bad. <laughs> well, okay, but sun I mean, breathing, like, what does that even mean? <laughs> because it makes sense. It's a way of life. Shinto, okay? <laughs> because because oh, you know, Shinto, like Japanese mythology, like like Izanagi is, you know, the god of the sun. They, it, that's where everything starts with. So I'm gonna see sense. some moon breathing coming out soon. I'm gonna. I, I want to hear some <laughs> some ka, some kakia, uh, whatever dancing technique. That's what I want to hear <laughs> next. All right, because you can't have a sun clan without a moon clan. And then if you want to make it like like uh, Sailor Moon, throwing some of the planets in there, like we got <laughs> Jupiter breathing, we got Pluto breathing. I mean, I don't know. Well, actually, just... I, I should correct myself. I just realized because it's Izanagi and Izanami. Those are the creators. And then, like their their children, Amaterasu, that's the sun god. Mm. Amaterasu, and then Susano, and um, we need Johan and, for all these uh, Sasuke and, and so we'll, and we'll get our Naruto Kiyomi. references in yep. <laughs> eventually. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they all they all come from Japanese mythology. So real quick too, like they they, uh, they believe the first emperor was descended from the sun god. So there's also that. So so uh, yeah, that's why it makes sense to call it, to revere the sun so much. All right. Yeah. Uh, the, we we need to fix the naming scheme. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> the, the naming scheme, I, I can't. Hey, I mean, we'll just, right. we'll just run with it. That. You know? I'm, I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's like you, you just have right. elements. You, can give it your own you, have, name. you have a bunch of other things now too. So I mean, yeah. how would you really supposed to know that? 
Man, how much did it suck though? You know, one Tanjiro having to go and and deliver kind of this this these last messages of um, Rengoku and and kind of what conspired to, you know, then find out that any information relating to sun breathing in the line of the the flame Hashiras <laughs> has all just been ripped up from the dad in, in the book, where what it's just dick. like, oh, great, you know, we got yeah. nothing. Yeah, and, and, well, definitely. Well, they will have something. Moment. Yeah, they will have something though. You know, when his uh, when his little brother actually puts it together or finds true. Yeah, he'll he'll true. be the. I'm yeah. sure we'll get we'll get to see the crow at some point. I mean, oh, yeah, he he will, but like, he didn't have to be this way. Like, so hey, dad's a dick. You have to make what, it hard for do? people. No. Yeah. Apparently, he hates. Uh, I mean, he's yeah, even though he's fire techniques, he hates the sun. I guess. Yeah, yeah. man. I he has know. like for me, it's like, like Vegeta complex. The the, the secondary dad? complex. Because he's always talking about how, like, you're talking down to us because you're a Sun Breaver, aren't you? And then mm-hmm. he was like, oh, we all know that Sun Breaver was the original technique and all the other techniques was just, uh, yeah. like, like mimicry. Uh, mm-hmm. And we're calling Second like, class. sure, sure. Yeah. Like, whatever all right, whatever all right. you say, man. <laughs> I mean, the only thing I can say to defend this guy is the fact that, you know, his wife died and now his son died, right? And he probably secretly admired him because he was actually oh, yeah. going to carry on the legacy. I mean, he, was but, ba- he basically I mean, broke down. I mean, he even, just okay. was always positive. Even, and the last you know, thing he said, too, was just take care of yourself. Take Rengoku yourself. just continues That's, to show, like, he cares about everybody else but himself. And the name awesome. of just, you know, justice and everything. Like, so. like that's, that's what I want. Even, like, if you're too prideful to show in front of strangers, it's like, that's your son's death. So. I mean, he's, he's, again, he's also it, an alcoholic. Yeah, I mean, again, we might not agree with it, but you, uh, you have to understand that he has lost a lot, and maybe that's just his way of showing it. So we shouldn't mm-hmm, really be bashing him that much. No. Getting, we don't really know a lot of him about him at the end of the day. We've only right. seen the, just, worst, yeah. the worst part, so it's easy to you know, like archetype him as a, as a way. Right. Mm-hmm. No, totally makes sense, and I yeah. feel like probably a lot of people see it that way. So, so yeah, no, he did break down pretty bad, though. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, it was, it was a nice, like, kind of like a... It was just wrap up, I guess, for that for Rego, who's part he of the He bleeds story. like like us all at the end of the day, right? You know? Yeah, and then uh, then the next part of that will come up when you know whenever the crow summons them with news. But yeah. I know, like, I know, like the next part uh, after like the whole Rengoku thing, I was a little bit disappointed just how easy it was for Tanjiro to get another sword. I, th- I was I was definitely thinking it was going to get a lot more. I thought it was going to well, be a lot harder, and I thought I I don't know. I was I was I mean. It's, it sounds like making a sword's not that hard. Yeah, like, it just seems like the guy's an asshole. Not an asshole, but he just does not want to do it. <laughs> yeah. It takes a lot of work to make those swords, you know? It's true, you know? We don't see well, it, though. Everybody we can don't just see do it. it. This is years <laughs> and years of, you know, legacy and, and craftsmanship being put to the bone, and you got some, <laughs> you know, like... some 13-year-old kids just breaking your master, <laughs> you know, craft every other every other weekend, slaying up these I, demons. Dude, that scene <laughs> was funny, though. I was laughing so hard, because I knew it was coming, but it was still pretty funny. Like They did it well. I, 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 I totally... Ex- understand too because he was already pissed the first time tanjo broke his sword it was was i the only one disappointed that that tanjo didn't use like the hilt that he got from uh Rengoku's Rengoku. brother like i was thinking like damn that sword's yeah, gonna look yeah. sick i, I, well, I thought I think, for sure he was gonna really do it can yet I, that's probably later on right i mean i would hope i would, I would yeah, think so. and hope so because i mean i'm, I mean, I'm sure tanjo's eat. gonna lose his sword or break it again mm. yeah besides that i don't think he already had a chance to really use this so, uh, I mean, well, he didn't uh, put it on. I mean, like when it was a crafter, I don't know how. I would assume that the other guy would have to put it on, right? Like, I don't think Tanjiro can just slap, uh, just slap that thing yeah. on. Yeah, that's not happening anytime soon. Right. So, mm-hmm. hey, could be next week. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. In, yeah. You know, in, in terms six. of yeah, Demon little do you know, yeah. little do you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's um also because I know like uh, I kind of mentioned to Taylor about this before with the Hashiras. Oh, of the Hashiras, I'm not. Too much of a fan of many of them, besides like Rengoku, um, the butterfly lady. I keep forgetting her name and Gyu. And Alu. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I, I've, so far, I don't really care much for Tengen. I, I, I just like I don't know if his just like his the character who he is or his personality, but I do really like his voice actor. So I feel like that's going to carry it for me. And also, his character yeah. doesn't seem like nearly as like hard ass as uh when we first saw him in the like, I think it was like the first in the like towards the ending of the first season. Where it just yeah, seems like he was when... just really serious, but there's actually some sort of like comedic relief in a sense. Uh-huh. Yeah, and, makes sense. Yeah, and then the was it also? I, I guess also the introduction of him for this arc also doesn't uh, rub like rub off the the right way when he's just carrying a bunch of uh, the, like the girls basically like needing them for whatever mission. Like, at first, I thought mission. he said. At first, yeah. I thought mm-hmm. he said he needed females, 
But then when yep. Tanjiro's like, oh, yeah, yep. I- I'll go and like a couple other people. And I'm like, but they're all dudes. <laughs> so Dude, I was like, Inosuke is the most beautiful man you've ever that's, seen. That's, all right. Yeah. So I forgot that, 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 that boar mask off. That <laughs> man's got the luckiest locks. Don't yeah. you dare, you know. Never mind. I, I take back everything pass. I just he said. Pass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Zenitsu, though, ooh, that's going to be a little little tough. Yeah, little I saw that. get that man that was beautied up. I saw that opening, yeah. Uh, and uh, it looked pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. Man, that's the thing. I mean, they, they Open just continue to just show too many things. I feel like, but yeah, they gotta yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Honestly, you're, you're, you're wondering there, why why would they need three guys. Well, there's your answer, sir. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I forgot that you know, SKA would pro- probably probably works very well. And then yeah, like how you said, Justin, the opening did show a lot of stuff that uh, characters we don't even know exist, and also just kind of like I don't yeah. know why they kept throwing like every time they showed Zenitsu is basically him and his. Uh, actually, I won't say it just in case if people are skipping the opening. I'm not sure, mm-hmm. but they, I, I think I would, would recommend for for people if they yeah. haven't watched the first episode yet. Like, you'll know at the end of this, you know, uh, first episode for season two that when the opening comes, and it's like if you don't want to have any hints at anything that's going to be coming for this season, just go ahead and skip it, right. and then you can just listen to the song by Imer on on YouTube or yeah. something without the the opening because the song is uh, a banger. For sure. <laughs> that's why I watched. I just wanted to hear the. I just wanted to hear the opening song. But we have not heard mm-hmm. the ending song yet. No, it just kind of showed it's like it just, it just played a lot of like really nice music. You know, the Demon I wonder Slayer who they'll music. get for it. I feel like with Demon Slayer, it's like you always have I wonder Lisa or or um yeah, Lisa definitely. Or I guess now Imer. You know, they're the top two yeah. that come into the mix and stuff. Hey, there's a there's a couple other people that sound just like Amer though. I think Riona and uh, I was gonna say if they can get if they can get Riona, ooh, yeah, that'd be spicy. Yep, I'd be down for that. She's solid. Um, did you guys like this one more or less than the original opening? I need to listen to more because um, it sounds like more. It sounds just like Ooh. all the other Amer songs. So the ending is going to be by Amer as well. Oh wow! Okay. Yep, gets both open yep, and there, there actually it. like. I mean, I it's not, it's not out used... yet, but it's on. Uh, it's on anime list. Yeah, going in the ending. Mm-hmm. I'm more used to like Lisa's songs. It's been played for so long, so. Yeah, I think the yeah. fact that it was played for all of season one just kind of ingrains it into your head. <laughs> yeah. as, this is Demon Slayer. So yeah. it's, it's like I would months, still so say you can't really, yeah, out. you can't dethrone uh, Garen. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's, too, like, it's too uh, iconic. Plus, like the, the Mugen Train song, like Homura, like that's played so much in Japan. It's super popular, but like we don't really get to hear much of it. So yeah. I was going to say um, that the song from the movie didn't really stick with me. Yeah. Well, me neither. Yeah. For, me, though, right. for me, I think a lot yes. of Lisa's songs sound very generic. A lot of them. I'm also not too much. Oh, of a she has. She definitely has that formulas yeah. of sorts. Yeah, because ever since like, so. I, I, I liked her at first, like with sort. Uh, was it? I think Sword Art, and then I, yeah, I kind of just knew her for Sword Art. I mean, yeah. I mean, technically, she started with uh, Angel Beats, and then Fate Zero, and Sword Art. Oh, yeah, oh, yes. right. she yeah. became too mainstream for you guys. Is that what it is? Yeah, sure. we, so we, we got to be full of hips yeah. here. You know. <laughs> yeah. Once everybody starts liking guys. the things, can't listen to it anymore. No, nope, can't do it. Trash. Trash. Heard that shit three years ago. Yeah. You're, you're three years late. Bro. Exactly. <laughs> but I'm just biased because I like Amber more than than Lisa. So that that's just gonna be me. I mean, sure, I do sure. too. So okay. Mm. You chose but wisely. Solid, too. solid music, nonetheless. You know, they're Agreed. popular for a reason. <laughs> I think they should get that the those people that did the opening for Recreators. I feel like they would be able to get something down for the show. That'd be pretty uh, great. I mean, Recreators I mean, has good opening, music too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The opening recreators, I mean, like the instrumental was made by Sawano, so I don't know who the chick was that sung it, but I have the song, but like they have they listed the artist as Sawano, so I don't know who like who the Yeah, it's always like is. that. <laughs> Funky like Sawano X so and so X so and so. Like those DJs, you know, like like yeah, like Zed oh, or whatever. God, That's yeah. Like yeah. where like, like they say it's by Zed, but it's really by you know this other person. The singer is this other person, so Yep. So David's getting ready for the Japanese Jeopardy show that he's going on next year. Oh, so hell yeah. It's got to get his knowledge. I can't wait. <laughs> you mean the Amy Izakaya quiz show? Uh, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Number three is yes. still in the works. I got to get most, that done. The most important quiz show ever. Yeah, my bad, uh-huh. my bad. It's in the works. Coming I guess. Soon. So, uh, so I think how'd we, you, they, they just... Well, how'd you guys feel about oh. Tangan? It was just me hitting on Tangan. Or his, like, entrance. I think, like, it was okay. or I think I'm biased because I just know a lot more about him, so... Mm. So it's see, like a little thing afterwards. The 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 Mushoku Tensei like tidbit at the end, like kind of like the Jujutsu Kaisen stroll. That you, they did. Oh, well, actually, Demon right. Slayer did thing too. Yep. Like little little stuff at the end. So they did mention how like Tenya, like he was a shinobi. He had to live like a life in the shadows his whole life, but he got sick of it. Now he wants to be flashy. It's he wants glamorous. to like 
he wants to be in the spotlight now because he had to hide his whole life. So mm-hmm. that's so a, that, that's that's a feeling like, I'm gonna like him a lot just because his home base is apparently in the in the entertainment district <laughs> from the looks <laughs> of the opening. Yes. Yes. And, uh, yep. yeah. I like how he's gonna. I feel like he's going to be a total Chad. The place to be. He's given him their effort too as they, they talk he's about be like him. The, the yeah. 90s, 20s version of like a host club or whatever. Like mm-hmm. like Jap- Japanese, like, you know, like speakeasies and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it seems sure. like he is a fan of three that were uh, surrounding him in some of those shots. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan <laughs> yeah. of them too. I'm like, man, this guy's got some good taste. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's see how this plays out. So, so yeah, he didn't have the strongest impression, but I assume as this arc goes, we're going to see more about him, his character backstory. Mm-hmm. Um, see like, how strong he is and stuff too. Some cool animations from Ufotable coming up. So yeah, I, like, I, was, I was talking to Taylor, uh, Taylor after like off you know, before this about how like there's not really many Hashras like I I care much for it, and she just keeps reminding me like you, you'll like a lot more of them later. I mean on. that's that's how it, that's how I felt with like Rengoku. Like, I didn't know anything about the guy, and then you saw how he was in Mugen Train. So. Yeah. Yeah, but, but, but yeah, for Rengoku though, like in Mugen Train, just say, like, but even before that, like he was a, one of the few that didn't act like a complete total dick to Tanjiro. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of just kind of I'm basing it off of that, really. So so I, that's I guess like it, for me, it's like I was really impressed with how they handled um, Rengoku. So I'm kind of like I guess I'm kind of carrying over that impression to the other Hashiras. Like gotcha. I kind of have that, that expectations for character development to the other Hashiras. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, for me, I ended up liking so many of the Hashidas more than, like, some of the main crew. You know what I mean? Like, once they get more characterization. Like, for how mean mm-hmm. they were to Tanjiro to, be- to begin with, I feel like, you know, it's really unprecedented that, like, you'd have a sister that still retains some of her humanity after having been converted into a demon. That's true. And they do nothing but fighting demons. So, like, yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of their anger was even just, like, also to protect him. Like, yeah. like thinking that he's just going to get hurt because this is going to end in tragedy regardless, you right. know? And, and I do feel, too, that, there, like, a lot of them, too, mm-hmm. have lost a lot to demons as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, we just we just saw their bad side first. Yeah. In due time, <laughs> as Taylor said. Yeah, in I'm sure I'll, I'll, like, I'm sure I'll end up liking a decent chunk of them. Actually, I'm I'm kind of surprised we didn't really see a scene like with show. I mean, I guess like we did sh- not a scene, but I guess I'm kind of surprised they didn't go more into like just the Hashira headquarters and everyone's like mourning uh, Rengoku's death. But they, I guess they'll show that bring it up in the later. movie, though. Remember, they they kind of show like like little glimpses of everybody's reaction to his to yeah. the news. I yeah. was wondering if they were gonna show a little bit more, but I guess we uh move, it's the way they do it now is fine. Just moving the story along. I was just. Sir, yeah. Gyu doesn't show reactions. That's about all you're going to No, I, I, I don't think they're going to do anything because it's been four months since. Yeah, yeah it's, it's been, been a, months. Yeah, it's been no, a, no, mm-hmm. I'm, saying, I'm not saying they are. It's just like I was wondering if they're going to do it. Oh, gotcha. Oh, I, I doubt it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At this point, it's I think what, what we saw is all we're going to get for that part. Just, yeah, yeah, I think it's just because like, his death was really impactful to me. So I was curious to see all the other characters' reactions. Right. Like a little more than we saw in the movie, but mm-hmm. it's fine. It's just. Something I just thought of. But... Speaking, of speaking of reactions, Kanao was actually showing a little bit more than what we've seen of her. She's not just stone faced. <laughs> I kind of I kind of forgot about her character because it's been so long. <laughs> I, so I, I, I forgot oh my too. God, like, no, I love her. <laughs> yeah, it, it was nice she to see like, her do anything about flipping a coin. So wait, <laughs> not anymore, sir. She was thinking for herself, okay. not the coin. Yeah, but guys, it's only like a few minutes and then she's gone. Like, we're never going to see her again. <laughs> it's going to be a long time. Oh, yeah. We're never going to yeah. see her again. Not important. <laughs> it's going to yeah. be a while. Because yeah. like it's I said, right. I'm, I'm pretty certain this entire arc will take the full season. Mm-hmm. Was, oh, it's that long? Stuff in... Oh, damn. Yeah. Do we know how many episodes? Is it? Like, I was just like, going to check that. <laughs> 16, 20, um, or the full like, 20. Because we started early. I don't early, know yet. Do they so... have it? I don't know if they have a number yet. Let's, uh, yeah, I don't, yeah, they don't have a number yet. A number yet? Yep, so, no okay. number. Well, season one was twenty six, so I would imagine this one would have nineteen more episodes or eighteen yeah, more probably episodes. Probably around the same. Yeah. Well, I thought yeah. I thought they were first saying though that they were just gonna like air two seasons in a row. So I, I, I depending Wait. on if they count the Maybe, Mugen yeah. Train as a season. Was, yeah, I was gonna say, does Mugen Train count then? I imagine only would, time right? will tell. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Um, but... Okay, I mean, so if we go off, of... okay, take this with a grain of salt, my anime list. It is listed as its own separate entity from mm-hmm. the Mugen yep. Train recap stuff, so... Yep. Oh, okay. It could be, you know, its own fresh set I'm... Uh, of 26. <laughs> I'm, 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 more thinking, so nice. like, it, it, I'm more thinking it's, it's Mugen Train started in the fall, and then it'll continue on to winter, so, like, we'll get the... Uh... Like, you know, the 16 see. or 17, 18 episodes. I mean, for sure, at minimum, it'll probably be, yeah, around that range. Yeah. The 16 so. to 20. 
I'll take it. Yeah, I think that would make sense because, like you said, Justin, I feel like this is going to take up most of the season. That's and, crazy. But I also feel like it couldn't fill out like a full 26. So I feel like. Yeah, true. You know? Yeah, yeah. that's still a huge well, I mean, that, like if, That's because, like, all. Because, like, Mugen Train is still seven, six, seven episodes. All the other mm-hmm. arcs, like, didn't take as long either. So. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy how long this one will be then. So I guess uh, just. Uh, I, there's I a lot re- to unpack that'll occur so yeah justin i remember you and sasha telling uh telling me about how that mugen train was like one of the more shorter arcs and you actually thought that they could pull it off in a movie format i guess mm-hmm. so, so that so then this arc then is at least was it i'm pretty sure this twice is lo- as long yeah i'm not sure like how long like manga chapter wise this arc stands up for but it, it, it has to be in the top three of like the longest arcs Damn, that's of Demon Slayer, i want to say if not like the second there may be one other arc that's if not the same or a little bit longer uh, as it gets closer towards the end but i'd have to go back and check Damn, i'm so used, okay. i'm so used to seeing like the you mentioned it so i won't bring it up here but yeah, yeah. there's this other peer mention yeah the, like, okay it, it's like like it's so, it's so weird seeing an uh an anime actually taking like the full length of the season for an arc when you're used to seeing yeah. like Mushoku Tensei that they have like their like little bits where it's like two or three episodes. And then mm-hmm. all of a sudden you go to like the, like a show that just the entire season is nothing but that. I was going to say like because like light novels too like they're um, one novel is usually three or four episodes. So they usually do like three or four books per season too. So right. So it's we're going back to like a popular series. That's that's a manga. It's, it's been it's been light novels for a lot of it. So yeah. I do feel like the, the, uh, the seasons that actually you know, they, they give you everything in you know more than three episodes i feel like it's going to be just really good even though i mean this is demon slayer with ufotable so i'm sure it's going to be fine regardless yeah yeah besides that they basically it's just like they're what they're going to the entertainment district mm-hmm. yep uh, that's because I, I i always forget too like where like the butterfly mansion was i always thought it was in tokyo but i guess it's somewhere else Butterf- are you talking about the yeah. the hashira mansion no, the Gosh, butterfly mansion like, where like they're getting uh Shinobu's place. Place. Yeah. place. Oh, duh. I can remember if they say duh. where exactly it's like located. I always but... it made it sound like the, the the trip to like the entertainment district was gonna be far or whatever. So I I, mm-hmm. I always thought the butterfly mansion was in Tokyo, but I guess it's not. It's okay. Man. I have absolutely no geographical. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I don't even America. know if they. <laughs> it's somewhere in Japan. Lay it out. Yeah, it's in Japan, <laughs> all right? You know, it's there. It's a thing. It yeah. exists. <laughs> Yeah. I'm assuming Entertainment District is the actual like where the modern Entertainment District is. So it's okay. Probably. They'll be the, they'll be they'll be their next episode. I mean, they skip. They were able to get you know skip four months in a, in an episode. So I think I think we'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Although, are, so we, are you guys a little worried? Because I'm afraid that they're going to spend like what maybe I'm not three worried. or four episodes for training purposes. Because oh, uh, four months just flew by, and you didn't really see any teasers as as to what they mm-hmm. like, how far they progress, right? Well, I don't think they're going to show. I don't I think feel they're like going to the show. Four training, months was no. more. I feel like the four months was more just, just recovery. Yeah. yeah. Because so I, so I, I don't remember when um, hmm. when they're fighting like the, the spider guy. I don't remember how long it took for them to recover from that. But we spent some time hmm. in that. Oh yeah, yeah I mean, so. about it, I mean, was. <laughs> sorry, go ahead, Taylor. <laughs> well, I was just going to say, at the very beginning of season one, you had Tanjiro's like solo training experience, and then mm-hmm. near the end of season one, they also did the training again when they first went to the Butterfly Mansion. Mm-hmm. So I feel like they were just kind of trying. They, I feel like they don't want to like overdo the training. And yeah. People. And I think that was like the point of Tanjiro going and killing that one demon in this episode, just to show. Yeah, they are training. Yeah, they yeah. have gotten better. Just to kind of show. I don't it recall is like happening. any real additional training happening yeah. in this arc no, I, mean, no, I think I'll, it'll be i'm not too worried we'll focus if, on the if, good stuff right yeah if, if it happened like next episode maybe like i'm not too worried so we'll see yeah, yeah I, I feel like the recovery the recovery episodes are longer than the the training episodes because uh-huh. i mean you know when you guys talk about the spider guy i mean zenitsu was basically turning into a spider so it took a it took some time to turn <laughs> back to normal true true <laughs> Taylor's yeah, point, but... though, the the original Butterfly Mansion training episodes, some of those were very long, drawn out. They so. were so good, though. I, I laughed I did, so I did much. They're good. They're, they, they fit that right balance of sorts, you know, with what it kind of uh-huh. came after. But I don't know. For me, it's just like some of them were like, all right, like I'm ready to get back into the mix of things. Like, you know, yeah. for, for me, it's like if you didn't like Zenitsu after like, you know, he just uh, took out that uh, that spider guy, like just like the hilarity of him, like during that whole tra- that training arc in the, the Butterfly Mansion was just it was too good. 
No, mm-hmm. man, dude, I still can't do things too. Like in this episode, when oh. once again, I was like, I'm so scared. I'm like, God, shut up. You always say like two lines. Sorry. <laughs> you said two lines uh, and you have one. Gotta move. make sure people remember him and his yeah. love for uh, Nezuko, all right? Uh, yeah. 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 Once remember per episode, that. once yeah. per episode. Yes, it's written is... into the deal. <laughs> this is the first episode that gets us back into Demon Slayer. So they gotta throw out all the things that they like that Demon Slayer is known for. And yeah, then yeah. not hopefully revisit it for a, a while. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, I Hope guess that's so. what worries me too. Then, because if if they don't really grow stronger, and I'm assuming the next demon they fight is going to be even stronger as well, unless like uh, Tengen's going to sacrifice himself to kill the demon, and then you know there's going to be a, a like a, like a trend here where like no one really gets stronger, and they need someone to die for them to like help them get Rengoku. to the next level. Yeah, like, I'm hoping that's not the case, right? Like, hopefully Rengoku was the, the first and only Hashiro that we see die, right? The first and then, like, Or the first killer, right. And then hopefully that they, they'll be some, they'll, they'll become strong enough to deal with these upper demons on their own. Like, that's what I'm hoping for. Well, but it's, it's a little worrisome because like, there's no training yet. There's well, no, like, hints as to what's going on. Well, I'm sure there was training during the recovery, like, because it, it showed them yeah. they're carrying stuff. And I thought they looked... But oh, I yeah, they're all buffed out, showing their six yeah, packs doing yeah. everything. You know? Yeah, exactly, Justin. So, <laughs> so, so like, I'm, I'm wondering know. though, like, like how strong is gonna be like the the antagonist in the next arc? Is she really gonna be stronger than upper third? Because like that was already strong enough for that's that was really high up for Akasa. Hey, Are we at upper second? Like, we got Tengen. I don't know. We got Tengen. It's fine. I feel like if it's maybe it's like a lower demon, it'd be well. I don't know. Well, all the know, upper demons like, are uh, dead. So I thought there was five though. I thought there was there's yeah, still four there's or five. five. Five uppers and five lowers, right? Yeah, so there's so... still there's still four and five. So it could be four or five. Mm, you know? Maybe. Right, Justin, there's five, right? Like, there's five upper demons? I'm pretty sure. And I can't remember exactly. Do you, do you guys what, remember? It's 12 in total, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, because wow. yeah, I remember, yeah, there was, but then I thought then he killed everything that was lower, or, no, six yeah. and above. All, all the lower demons, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So, or six and uh, b- whichever. Oh, okay. Six, six so, and 12. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, so we'll see. Like, I don't know if we're really going to get someone stronger than upper third. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't see Akasa returning for mm-hmm. this arc. I feel like he's, like, much later to build up the, the showdown between him and Tanjiro, so I yeah. can't see him coming yeah. back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One arc, thing so. I wanted to talk about, I, I know before we, we started the, the show tonight, David, you were talking about um, the Reddit thread for, for this episode not being as kind of a heavy traction oh, yeah. as, as, you, as we might expect, you know, with the comeback of a series like this. Oh, um, yes, and I yes. wanted to ask guys, like, Do you feel that, you know, with how things were spaced out where, you know, at the end of season one, we had to wait a year for Mugen Train and then, you know, an additional like what, three months or four months for season two to come come out. And and before even season two coming out, you know, we had the full recap of the events of Mugen Train. Do you feel like that kind of harmed the hype in in, in some sense or? Not for me. I don't yeah, know. I got just like five times this episode. People need to get their priorities straight. This is Demon Slayer, guys. Like, it's continuing okay. on. Well, or, yeah, so I'm interested to hear that. Or, or like, do you think, you know, so, if, I mean, say, like, Mugen Train wasn't done in the movie and they started with Mugen Train as just, like, what they did with the recap, like, you know, the movie didn't exist. And so we've waited two years and you start with Mugen mm-hmm. Train and just flowing right into the entertainment district. Do you think that would have been better for, like, it's I mean, keeping a continuous hype where you don't have those gaps in periods. I, I hate was, anime uh, movies, so I would always prefer that they just don't do that and just continue. Okay, I think it's I, a lot of us. I, it's a lot of us. You still have to wait the yeah. two years, though. So, like, imagine like the movie didn't exist, and so season two or the events of Mugen Train starts. The you know, it's, like, it's now been two years I, since you've seen anything Demon Slayer. I right. think it's a little take them that long just to make the just to make the season. Yeah. So I don't think that like, cutting the movie would make it like come out any sooner. Um, I guess like I kind of maybe like yeah, if you don't do the movie first, like if you do just a normal TV season, like it was more a surprise and maybe yeah, but. Well, I think what I mean, what Justin meant a little bit more was not like would it come out sooner, but just more like if we hadn't had that like halfway through like some plot coming through from the movie and then having it repeated over again in the season like would it have been like uh, more impactful if yeah it exactly i don't think it really matters i think most people just just skip the movie and train we already saw the movie so i don't mm-hmm. really think it matters oh yeah i mean there's no need uh, you watch the first episode just skip the rest of it it's yeah. it's really weird though because it because i remember like the hype that followed with uh attack on titan when it was coming back after i don't know how long like it just sounded like that was the like, only thing you ever heard of and uh, I, th- I think with with Demon Slayer, I think obviously everybody who's in the anime, I think, is into Demon Slayer. 
but it was just really weird because it's it, it it just didn't feel like it was a kind of like it follows that same sort of hype i think the only time well, i really remember seeing demon slayer trending hard was episode 19 episode 19 yeah and then, then mm-hmm. it kind of just dwindled away but then it almost it seems like with attack on titan almost anything that they do like you can see it trending on twitter <laughs> at any well, moment I think that like the where the manga's at is a really big consideration with this. Cause like Demon Slayer, I love Demon Slayer so much that I will be hyped no matter what. Oh, but like that's the manga thing. finished for yep. freaking ever. Yeah, that's what like, I was gonna it's say been too. Over in my mm-hmm. head for yep. a while. Whereas like Attack on Titan still just finished fairly recently. And then you also have to think about what the hype was for that last season of Attack on Titan with the massive tonal and scene shift. Like that was so unprecedented compared to a lot of other oh, yeah. anime. Like yep. Such a huge change that I think that manga readers were even really excited to see how anime viewers were going to react, kind of thing. You know, that's, that's what I forgot about. Basically, yeah, I forgot yeah. that the manga has been done for uh, yeah. uh, for a while. Then AOT yeah. was and still also going. like AOT has been around for like a decade, whereas like Demon Slayer's started what 2016 or whatever. So, but it just seems like so, it just started so. then, <laughs> just like because <laughs> yeah. nobody really even knew about it till also, the anime. I mean, but also, like, when it was first starting, too, people were hyped on Demon Slayer. Like, oh, even yeah. in just the first, like, five episodes, people were still hyped. It was a slow mm-hmm. build up towards episode 19. Yeah. So. yeah. I mean, yeah, if I anything, it'll just be interesting to see, to your yep. point, David, you know, as the episodes start to get into the thick of the entertainment district, will we I see, think you know, once, once, like, uh, the, hype, yeah. the hype moments come, I think it's when people get, like, we'll see, we'll see the explosion, just like we'll yeah, see, like, sure. episode 19. So I think it'll be a more of a slow build up again. So it was just a big premiere. It'll remind mm-hmm. people again that Demon Slayer is back and not just the Mugen Trainer. Yeah, right. David, I'm yeah. surprised that I haven't heard you comment on the art of the scenery. Like, that shit looks photographic. It's so detailed. <laughs> uh, you're photable. <laughs> on, on which scenery oh, are you talking yes. about? All like, of it. Just because I know uh, you I always feel like you would catch the scenery a lot. Oh, uh, like, I mean, man, I feel the like whole, they've gone the whole, even All extra. the animation was, it was beautiful. Yeah. But, I mean, I was <laughs> just talking about just with cool. Just again, like how because we saw the Hero Academia movie and then we saw the Sora movie, and then <laughs> even just watching like just this first episode of Demon Slayer is like, damn, just the animation comparison of with like the rest of just night and day it feels bad. Yeah. So, the company. So, <laughs> So on their laurels, man. Yeah, watching mm-hmm. Osama Rinky My after hero, watching yeah. uh, Demon Slayer was weird. <laughs> Osama Rinky is still amazing. Don't you it's dare! So, it's Don't a you different, dare. different, different, different thing. You can't like, compare those. Exactly. <laughs> apples yeah. and oranges, Taylor. Apples and oranges. Uh, all, <laughs> also, 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 Taylor, I think also because a lot of this episode was like was like stuff we've seen before, like the butterfly mansion and stuff. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Although the, the new temple was was, I mean, it was it was hype. But I think I'll be more hype for like entertainment district because I love like. Thing. Like the steampunk industrial look. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, very so, stylized. Steampunk. And also, we, and again, we don't get to see much time, much things in this time period, like Taisho area. Like mm-hmm. this is like this is this and like Golden Kamui, like the only things I know that takes place around the 1910s, 1920s Japan. Oh, David, you're definitely so. gonna see some things in the red light district. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. oh entertainment oh, yeah. <laughs> oh god. Yes. <laughs> Now remember, <laughs> it's a shonen. All right, we're appealing oh, to kids of, of various ages, so oh, we might not get. Yes, just the, what you're looking for. Yes, but. just be beheading, <laughs> just beheadings, and everything oh, else I, going on. I will, I will try my best to also make make a note of the soundtrack. Oh, the music! You so know good. how I am with those. Yep. So mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, I couldn't remember anything in this episode. So I'll try it when <laughs> yeah. the epic fight scenes. I don't remember come anything out. either. It, it so. just sounds I think exactly just, to your point. Once we get into the red light district, that's when yeah. things will really kind of come to a front. Yeah, the, the music is basically yeah, just typical Demon Slayer. It was just really nice to hear again, and it's just I mean, you know, it's always nice to see you foldable. Just this animation, because again, when I watched that first episode of Moving Train, and like it was like the guy at the Robin shop, dude, that Robin looks so good. <laughs> like, yeah, like I remember was... that distinctly. <laughs> yep. The soup, the soup mm. was so detailed. It was like the noodles. Like, oh my god. Dude, just think if you were the guy, the animator, just like, and like, I think I just feel like that guy, that guy or girl, just basically lived for that moment. Like, all right, I'm gonna make this shit look real. I mean, I would, dude, I would funny, just... funny story about that. When I was trying to learn how to do, um, like demon slayer type of line work when i was drawing it i would take a couple frames and just copy them straight to like see you know how they do it Mm -hmm. and i remember i picked that episode with the ramen and i was like am i really (laughs) going to draw a frame of this ramen and i did and then i ordered a shit ton of ramen as i'll say that's some torture if you didn't order some ramen ramen after doing that straight if i was that anime i would go straight to that ramen shop (laughs) oh yeah it would be over like it basically is like you're like you're told like oh you have to make food it like the food would already be on the way like immediately when you start You know, I'll make the ramen and then look at it and be like, man, this does not look as good as my art. <laughs> Disappointed. <laughs> you throw it in the garbage. <laughs> Oof. Oh, that's a little bit too far. 
So that. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I think I'm done. Yeah, but yeah that's really. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Actually, guess, okay. There's yeah. one thing. There's one thing actually. I should. I forgot to bring up because um, uh, Muzin and and uh, Akasa also mentioned how they're looking for the blue spire lilies. Mm. Um, oh, the only thing I want to mention that. I just want to mention that spire lilies are usually red, and like they usually mm-hmm. uh, in Japanese culture they signify death. death yeah. So, and I'm pretty sure that was, that was like the ending of like the first uh, demon there somewhere. Like there was a bunch of like red spire lilies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, I'm assuming these like probably uh, counteract the ones that are like protecting them in a sense. Like, yeah, some ones. like demon variant or something. Yeah, I, I, I just know. feel like it's basically but, uh, something that like counteracts that. That's like that's like the, a random like. Japanese thing, yeah, you know, like, yeah, red spire lilies means death, and they're looking for the blue one, so mm-hmm. I'll keep an eye out for that. Speaking of those, Justin, did you remember that those were mentioned so early in the manga? <laughs> no. To be honest with you, like, with, with your point of how long it's been since the manga's aired, yeah, like, yeah, there's yeah. so many things that I need to go back and brush up on, like, as I we get totally into the season. I could totally be wrong, but I did, either I didn't pick up on it when I was reading it originally, but, but like, I don't remember it being mentioned that early, so I was like, a little, yeah, I couldn't I, say. I, I, slight panic attack where i was like oh no are things getting moved around so i'll, I'll go check that out after <laughs> okay <the podcast." laughs> Taylor just has ptsd i mean yeah i don't i don't feel like <laughs> this is like gonna be this. a promise neverland <laughs> yeah i don't think this is gonna be a promise neverland i think we're fine okay yeah I mean, I'm oh sure yeah no, right. nothing will be like that we how dare you even bring that <laughs> up my we just erased that all from the face of the earth and now you brought it back to we, life. Don't, we don't speak of that in this zakaya sir yeah yeah I, 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 I'll, I'll i'll take my leave <laughs> we're gonna have to kick you out of this establishment yeah. for such a hearsay <laughs> Anyways. But, Anyways, I mean, yeah. I think I mean if anyone has have closing thoughts, back. this is like I think we pretty much we went through the whole episode. We kind of set our part. More, so yeah. you want to say their their closing thoughts on this first episode I'm about hyped. returning Demon Slayer? I'm hyped to see my it again. Closing, my closing thoughts are: I'm excited to talk about the show again, and Mushoku Tensei is fine. But I'm ha- glad to have a show to talk about again. Whoa, okay. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay. All right. There's there's a lot of comments coming out. Of right, I'm gonna yeah. need you to edit that. Okay. Part off, right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Certain take note of this time. Yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Timestamp. Uh, where's my timestamps? Yeah. Well, we're yeah, fine. I can't find it. We're good. <laughs> so. No, I agree with Taylor. I'm excited to have Demon Slayer back. Um, you know, it's been too long for sure and um mm-hmm. you know excited for you guys as you know anime only is being able to uh get into you know such a great arc as this I'm really excited to see you Can't know wait. how the exp- uh, your, uh, our conversations you know evolve over this season so right cool dude uh, i'll say for, for uh, david for too I, no, no, I, 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 you guys haven't no, said anything Kush, yet <laughs> Kush, Kush, go. all right all i got i mean it's not important but all i gotta say is for canal's sake i hope that tanjiro Stays a good boy this whole arc, and then they finally get to work on that ship, right? Because uh, you, you, you got the you got the an, I'm there too. Happening, right? This is some hard yeah. vibes that kind of like think about the real plot point. I mean, right? I yes. it. God so, bless you, sir. I'm I, mean, I never denied we get some, just... some tidbits here and there. Like, <laughs> I mean, I, I agree with you, Kuko. For now, yes. for what I know about Kanal, it just seems like she's only there just to be a ship for Tanjiro. So well, that's fine. That's all oh, I know about her. Yeah, there's more than that. No. Yeah, there's more. There's more than me. So. There's that. But like, I, besides that, that's about all I know about Canal. So. Yeah. That's yeah. right. It'll be fine. It's yeah. Yeah. That's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> I'll good say, call, good like, call. I, I want to see that ramen again. So I love love this animation. I I'm looking forward to like shitty city shots because I love seeing those in anime too. So I'll make sure to bring that up next time, Taylor. Yay! So, if, if you thought we can do those. Mm hmm. And again, also, I love this period, and I love seeing Tokyo in this period. So, mm-hmm. I'd love to see all like the, you know, just the the temples and all that stuff with like the like the lights and the trains. And mm-hmm. so, I'm looking forward 100%. to seeing that. And also, yeah. and also, um, I'm, I I think I think a lot of people just forgot that it aired in December. So I think they maybe not know about second season starting right away. But oh, they'll know. To see, they'll know. I'm looking forward to see like what people think of demon slayer as this goes on i'm excited to see something hype in anime again because i feel like like i feel like yeah attack on time is like the last thing and last time it happened so hoping demon slayer brings that hype back in the anime community it's so sure. this season is still so stacked and it, it, there's a lot of sleepers as well but you know we'll leave that for some some other time uh-huh. yeah cool. so that's gonna end there for this first episode remember it's an hour long so that's why we, we did go longer we, we went did for go longer than longer. the episode probably <laughs> Yeah, but like, but just getting out there. Uh, good to be back. And yeah, this will be our weekly format. Um, you're not familiar that we did do weekly format for Mushoku Tensei right now. So 
kind of following the same thing. Um, like it also reminder too, we do have uh, Mugen Train discussion up. You want to go see that? Uh, the also, end of this video. Have, yeah, we, we also have a Discord available. So, um, want to see our thoughts on uh, Demon Slayer or other shows watching this season? Feel free to join Discord. Just pop in discussions. We'd love to see you there in comments. Love seeing comments on yes. on the videos and Stren will be there to to help. Oh yes, uh, of course. Talk with you guys. So <laughs> shout out to Stren. Thanks, man. Yeah. So glad to be back. This is the Return of Demon Slayer. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Later. Bye. Bye.